guys, we got some pretty exciting news. We made the news, the old rat rod made the East Tennessee news. How cool is that? Check it out. Howdy folks, I'm Eric Brazil with Living East Tennessee and welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. We are out here for Cletus and Cars, two days of amazing events. And, we, and I, I have seen its predecessor and if it is any indication, he is going to whip that girl around the trip. We also ended up making the Diesel Brothers YouTube channel. qualifying is funny she's making her rounds she's she's getting recognized she's getting noticed um, not just by channels but by companies like nitrous outlet that proudly sponsors the rat rod you know boosting and juicing welcome back to the channel guys we are back from bristol what a great event it, just a good time. I uh, I really didn't go into detail after watching my old video of how I did and everything. And um, I didn't place. I didn't get top three. They only placed top three. Totally fine. I had fun. It was a great time. Um, it's back to business though. I went to LS Fest right after that for uh, LME right there. Uh, had a lot of fun. Watched the guys at LS Fest do the burnout competition there. And I I gotta say I I gotta get an LS in this thing because. If there's a burnout competition in this country, I want to be going to it. It felt so wrong just sitting on the sidelines watching. I couldn't stand it. So I want you guys to, to know that I'm building something crazy for this thing. And uh, it's going to be wild. You think Twin Turbo Rat Rod is wild? Just, just wait. A lot of my friends already know. But just, that's all I got to say. You just got to wait. It's going to be insane. But I'll be in the pro class uh, soon. So next year. But anyway. Uh, first things first, if I go another competition without pulling this transmission, I think John uh, might disown me. So I need to get this transmission out and get it to him. I'm also going to uh, send him a mano valve body when I do this. Uh, I already have one, but this one's going to have trans brake. Yeah, we're going to start burnouts on a trans brake now, baby, and just do cool trans brake stuff. I mean, if he's just going in there, why not just do that? So we're going to do that. We're also going to do a 34 element spreg. Uh, just while he's there, just every time he, I send it to him, I just kind of want to upgrade little stuff here and there. So, um, but yeah, other than that, uh, first thing I had to do was check this wheel before I pulled the transmission out. I already pulled it off. As you can see, it was bent. I put a new wheel on there. That one's fine. Super straight. So luckily, I don't think we hurt the rear end or anything. Um, everything still looks to be in line. I mean, have I taken measurements? No, but with how bent that wheel was, the wheel was bent, but <clears throat> nothing really looked bad. Um, I mean, it was a leaf spring, so if it hit, it probably had some play to go back and forth before it hurt anything. Leaf springs don't look bent. Nothing nothing looks bent anywhere, so I, I could do some measuring, but I ran it up here on the jack and just kind of turned everything, and everything seemed pretty happy, so I'm, I'm not really too concerned about it. As you can tell though, it's super hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on taking this thing apart. All right, everyone, late night. I had to work late to get all my work done for uh, this weekend to go out play. We got the trailer, I was loading up the rat rod. It's just easier for me to winch it on. Got my wireless, wireless remote. It just makes it so much easier. So, yep, just loading up the rat rod and uh, getting her all done. Bro, is that a rat ride? Oh, dang, what's that? Wow. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We made it. Me and Sean drove all the way from Bristol to, to Bristol, not from Bristol. We drove from Houston. It was only like a 15 hour drive. It was just like a tiny little jaunt. Well, 15 on paper. On paper, it took us about 20 hours. Uh, it sucked, but we're here. We're gonna go to the speedway. Bro. <laughs> that place is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so big. 
Oh my god. As always, videos never do it justice. That is insane. That was funny, dude. It's just freaking huge. <laughs> That's a whole town. Dude, right? Oh my gosh. So freaking gargantuan. It's gonna rub, just go for it. Yeah. That's good. Well, we're all set up. Thanks to Emily for the canopy. Uh, that was very nice to have. My canopy broke last time, but everything's ready to go. You guys will not believe what I accidentally did. I forgot my nitrous bottle at home. So big thanks to my buddy, Justin McClendon. He uh, hooked me up, oh, guys over at GPI, had an awesome nitrous outlet bottle. And uh, so we're good to go. Uh, it's a 15 powder instead of a 10, no big deal. But uh, everything else is ready. I'm pumped. I mean, have you guys seen? It's freaking Bristol, baby. It's freaking it's Bristol. Bristol, baby. It's freaking stadium trucks. That's badass. Again, Vice Grips got a truck. Dem Demos and Ranch has a truck. Cletus got a truck. Robbie Gordon, dude. Robbie Gordon walked drove by the rat rod, and he's just like pointing at it and everything. Like hell yeah, Robbie yeah, Gordon freaking pointed at. That right? was sweet. Yeah. a square anymore it's complex over there it's complex over there like then you come in right here this is crazy it's probably the most complex one i've seen so far but coming in right here is crazy because then you like i don't know you don't really get a lot of tipping i this has to be the one this has to be the entrance because there's no tipping room right here there they this has to be the entrance right here this has to be the entrance see because there's no there's no tip in there's no tip in room coming this way he wouldn't have a two foot tip in right like, this way people can fly and they can tip in over there so i i, I bet you it's coming in this way there's the nail trap uh, just look at this place dude freaking massive i can't believe that we're sitting here doing burnouts with the rat rod at bristol like dude. fucking dale earnhardt jr is here fucking jeff gordon like it's crazy to think about. It's it's kind of surreal almost. There's no no way that when I was building this in high school, I thought I'd be coming over to Bristol. Like, no way. <laughs> this thing is freaking sick. 
Got the old stadium trucks out here. It's gonna be freaking legit. Got the Jumbotron. Dude, this thing's, this place is legit, man. He was at our hotel last night with the mega truck. It's pretty wild. He's trying for it. He's got that wheel speed back up. He's in that corner. Getting hung up on the wall there. It's tight. The very technical burnout pad. Where's my people from Texas? Let's hear for the Lone Star State. America State. So if you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe. It's not that hard. Just hit the little, the little red button and it would mean the world. You might be the difference between me not making money and me making money on YouTube because that's the only thing holding you back right now is subscribers. I just have a little bit more subscribers I need to get and then YouTube is going to start racking me the dough. Just kidding. It's going to be a while before I'm racking the dough. But everyone has to start somewhere and I'm starting... I've been at this for two years, you guys. I need to get more time. We gotta get this thing rolling, you know. The Rat Rod's been doing very good. We have two burnout contests that we have planned for the future. One is on the gas here in Houston, Texas, Baytown, October 15th. So if you were interested in going to that, make sure you go to HoustonRacewayPark.com and get your tickets for that. And then the second one is in November at Cleanest His Own Freedom Factory. We're going back, we're getting redemption. The last time we went there, it was terrible showing. We did awful. We're going back, and I'm going to go win that burnout contest. Mark my words, right now. That's a bold statement, but I'm sticking to it. I would also like to mention that we have something in store at LME that's uh, it's cooking. It's cooking. So next year, you guys, you better watch out. You better watch out because the rat rod's coming with vengeance. And uh, let's just say that once we completely dominate the open class, we're going to the pro class. So that's all I got to say about that. I just got to say, I love this sport. I never thought I was going to get into doing burnouts, but you guys, I can't even tell you how fun it's been doing all these burnout contests, the people, the community, it's just been awesome. So I really appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video. If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe. Later.